Okay, everybody, this is a 1993 Chevy Silverado. It has a 4.3, I believe, V6. Um, nothing fancy. Everything's stock on it. Um, basically doing this video so uh, everybody can see how easy it is. Hopefully it's easy. This will be my first um, engine swap. It's going to take a 2003 uh, 5.3. Vortec out of uh, Suburban and um, I know a lot of people are doing this and I just wanted to take uh, some video and and uh, kind of go through the steps uh, you know I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hiccups and um, bumps in the road but from what uh, research I've done um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be very hard uh, here is where I took off the cruise control module, the uh, 93 cruise control module. Uh, here's one hole. This is this is basically where, where the mount was here. And um, as you can see, you're going to use a, a newer style uh, 5.3 with the drive-by wire. You don't use any of the cable uh, throttle assemblies, even the, the gas pedal. Everything has to be changed over to a drive-by wire or a fly-by wire. And this is the TAC module what they use for uh, actually controlling the position of the pedal and um, giving you cruise control and all that and as you can see even the holes line up so it seems like it should be a fairly easy swap not just by this but by a lot of uh, <clears throat> wiring issues that um, came up with with the swap out I really shouldn't say wiring issues but the fact that the uh, 5.3 that I purchased came with the fuse block, the factory fuse block, and I was able to use all the relays um, so I don't have to run any new relays. And that's why here on the engine bay, on the firewall, I removed all the factory wires that went for the junctions and all that. Uh, that's where your power wires would hook up. I I'm going to try to clean all this up, so all I do is use the original fuse block and not try to clean it all, all up so I don't have any of these extra wires. I, I really don't care to have extra wires laying around. So this is uh, video one of a teardown V6 coming out and uh, I'll be posting later videos of the uh, the wiring harness, the, the, the conversion that I made. I'll be doing that video after this one. But here's the first video of what a normal V6 looks like. Here's the gas pedal uh, that we'll be going and using for the new drive-by wire. This is the uh, accelerator position sensor. So if you guys are going to do this kind of a conversion and you're going to get a, an, an engine from a uh, uh, junkyard, make sure that you get the complete wiring harness the fuse, uh, if you want to use the fuse block, you can. There are instructions to uh, rewire it so that you can just make your own fuse panel. I chose to use the GM fuse center just because of the cleanliness and the fact that every um, everything that's powered on that new 5.3 or, or any of those new LS-based engines, you can um, just, just use all the original fuses that go um, that, that are that are being used from that original harness I just to me it seemed a little easier this is what the wire looks like from the pedal that goes over to your tack module this is very important that you grab this this uh, will save you a ton of time um, so basically what, what you want to get is uh, not only the engine if you get the engine and transmission as one piece That'll save you a lot of hassle where you don't have to get bracketry and flex plates and all this and good stuff. So you want to get the original harness, um, complete harness. You don't want anything cut. And you also want to get your pedal. This is the wire that goes from the pedal to the TAC module. You want to get your TAC module and as much wiring as possible. And then you can start deleting anything that you want. Uh, best friend uh, will be... Uh, your Google and LT1Swap.com. 
I, I think if you Google anything nowadays, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So, um, but, but here's, here's, like I said, the picture of that wire. Make sure that you get this. This is very important uh, to, to grab this uh, assembly. So, <clears throat> part one, video one, and more videos to come.